Hello, Namaskar and a very good afternoon to all the viewers watching our session out there. Welcome back to NCRT's live interactive session. This is Simran Singh and you are all watching this particular session on PM Evitya channel number 10. Well, we have different mediums through which you can connect with us and one of them is our YouTube channel. As you all know, it is named NCERT Official. So regularly for one hour, for half an hour, we have a special sessions for all our viewers to enhance your understanding about complex topics to break it into simple pieces and bring in the form of our sessions. So for another half an hour, we are going to discuss about a session of social science, particularly meant for class 10th students. Well, viewers from any other classes, if you have connected with us in the conversation, you enjoy our session and if you have any queries in your mind then feel free to note down your queries on a piece of paper and also to comment that in the comment section of NCRE official. So what is the topic that we are going to discuss in this session of social science? Well, it seems quite interesting because it is all about financial education series part one Raju and 40 Thieves. Now what is it all about? To gain more information on this, we are also joined by a resource person in the session. So allow me to introduce our expert for this particular session of social science. He is Professor M. V. Srinivasan sir. Namaskar sir. Namaskar. Good afternoon. Thank Very you. warm welcome in the session. So he is currently serving at Department of Education and Social Sciences that is D-E-S-S-N-C-R-T. -S well you can connect with us through different mediums. One of them is our contact number that is flashing on your screens. So feel free to reach out to us at this number that is 880044. 0559 and also a specific mail id for class 10th students flashing again on your screen dth.class10 at the rate ciet.nic.in so let's begin our conversation on financial education series where we are going to discuss part one raju and 40 thieves so sir in the first place i request you to apprise our viewers about what is financial and uh, education and in the first place why is it so important for our students to be aware of this form of education? Thank you, Simran, for raising this question. And um, good afternoon, uh, students, uh, parents, and other viewers. And um, to begin with, uh, let me thank CIT for giving this opportunity to interact with you on an important topic. And um, uh, to begin with, let me tell you, this is the first part in the a series of um, programs. And uh, you must have watched a few weeks before on a topic, something called financial inclusion. And this is also part of the financial inclusion. And if you watch that, uh, you can easily understand this topic also. And you know that the uh, social sciences is an important topic, the subject in our lives. And you start studying from class 6 onwards. And you are in class 10. And um, I'm sure that uh, you may be feeling that why social science has four subjects like history, geography, economics, political science, so on. But if you uh, look at all other subjects, social science is the only subject which has very close connections with our daily life. There are many examples I can tell you. So one example uh, is money. We all know that money, without money, there is nothing called life. We all feel and we aspire for um, uh, earning money. Money is also a very, very important aspect for your family because you are coming to school, it requires a lot of money. And your parents are also um, uh, doing a lot of work to earn these metals and currency papers. Okay. So uh, financial education is about these metals and currency notes. What is this financial aspect actually? You remember in one chapter of class 10, there is something called money and credit uh, in which you talk about, uh, we are all uh, discussing about what is money and uh, what are the important role of uh, different forms of money. And you must have been uh, studying about um, uh, banks, what banks uh, do with the money, and you must have also been reading about Reserve Bank of India, what Reserve Bank of India. And you also must have uh, discussed about the credit sources, how people acquire, borrow money from various sources like money lenders, banks, and so on. So in my previous session, I was talking about how people uh, um, uh, credit, like source their credit. Actually. So today, we are uh, going to a different direction, actually. So uh, one of the part of the financial inclusion is that the if we know if you understand all the financial aspects, what are those financial aspects? You know that the money, we are all uh, um, how to understand about how money is used, how people earn their money, not only for your family and my family, it is also for the country, how the government is spending its money, uh, how uh, many companies earn their money, how government is collecting taxes, like such as GST, 
And you know, every year, uh, come February and March, you, uh, you see in the uh, media uh, a lot of discussion about um, a budget, how the government is going to generate money, collect taxes, various kind of taxes for the forthcoming year. And we also discuss about how the government has spent uh, its money during the previous year. So budgeting is also part of the thing. So if you start understanding all these components of how money is used in our daily life, both for a family, both for an individual and for the society and for the country, rather for the whole world, how people are spending their money. And it's all part of the financial literacy. So if you acquire more and more understanding about these aspects, that means you are part of the um, education, uh, financial education. And you know, like uh, today something is a very interesting thing. You may be uh, like uh, uh, Simran was asking, what is the use of uh, me going to school, I have to study. Uh, you know that um, today mobile phones are most of you, your family must be having mobile phone, and some of you must be having the um, smartphone also. In that case, actually, if you look at, if you're having a bank uh, account, for example, uh, if there is a statistic saying that uh, nearly 50 to 60 crore people, families are having uh, bank accounts. So uh, today, most and most of people are having bank accounts, and that means the, the banks and insurance companies and your employers, for example, those who are working under Mandrega, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, uh, those who are working uh, under the Mandrega, those who are working in private sector, private government sector as teachers and, and in many other activities, you are all having bank accounts and uh, all the banks are providing details through the mobile phone only. And if you look at, you are a student and many of you must be spending a lot of time uh, on uh, mobile phone. Uh, this means that you know much more than uh, your parents with regard to mobile phone, how the mobile phone operates. So uh, if you are uh, understanding better about these uh, aspects of uh, financial aspects, you can help your parents. You can help uh, your parents in many ways. For example, I'll tell you, suppose there is electricity bill. There's a due date of say about 5th September. So the, the details about the due date is coming only through mobile phone. So you can inform your parents that the due date is coming so that uh, there won't be any late fee. Actually. So in that way, you can save the penalty and fine. You can also see many times some uh, utility services, if you are uh, depositing or if you are um, uh, paying the fees on time, you also some get some discounts, okay, some cashback facilities. So in that way, you can save some money for your family. Many times what happens, like people are sending a lot of um, uh, fraudulent messages in the mobile phone. So if you are knowing about these financial services, how to deal with these financial services, and since you know the mobile phones uh, much better than your parents, you can also help your parents in many ways, particularly uh, your parents or your relatives or whoever are using the phone. Actually. So this is the best aspect uh, that uh, if you know the um, different uh, financial services, how this can be used using the digital payment systems, you can, um, you can help your parents in many ways. And this also is helpful for you uh, when you uh, come out of your uh, uh, student life. Of course, and certainly, sir, I do think that if uh, we are using financial education in the right direction, the right resources, uh, with the maximum carefulness that we can do, we can certainly make it a strength yes. for all of ourselves. And that's why, as I just asked you, that it is so important for our students to understand the concept of financial education. Well, as our session says, it's financial education series. So I think that our viewers are quite clear with the meaning of financial education. but. The title also says it's part one Raju and 40 Thieves. Now I would request you to please apprise our viewers more about that topic particularly. What is that? It's the topic of the book and also I could see a number of books placed here. Yeah, yeah. thank you Simran. Actually today like uh, uh, you must be wondering what is this 40 Thieves and so on actually. Um, many times we come here to the studio to talk about things so on. Today I'm going to introduce you uh, a book, a comic book. You know, social sciences generally you get to know only from the textbooks. You don't go beyond textbooks. And there are some lucky uh, students and parents, uh, you get uh, some opportunities to go beyond textbooks, studying about freedom fighters, uh, studying about big leaders, in other, the, other than the textbooks, actually. And um, though when you were a child, when I was also uh, like a child, I used to see a lot of comic books. And I'm sure you must be also reading comic books like Chanda Mama or like uh, Magic Pot or Ambuli Mama or like and uh, many, many uh, comic books uh, you must be uh, reading uh, in your house, actually. Okay, you won't believe it, in many countries like Europe, uh, students study uh, comic books as part of their syllabus. Let me show you one example. Uh, this is a book, it's called uh, Asterix and uh, Obliques. 
This is a very popular book in Europe, and many schools uh, use this book uh, about the uh, to understand about the ancient past of the Europe uh, in their schools. So it's part of the history syllabus. Similarly, you'll find uh, many of you must be. Um, uh, this is the book, uh, kind of something called graphic novels. So students are also many students are interested in graphic novels. Okay, uh, this is another set of like a, another kind of book. Um, many of you must be reading if you are living in urban areas and in, in, in other schools also you must be having a similar kind of books. For example, Amar Chitrakata stories are very popular and I noticed many students studying those books. And this is a Tintin, uh, Adventures of Tintin. Okay, uh, this is also a comic book. So, um, given the importance uh, and interest shown by students, Reserve Bank of India. You know, uh, we all know that Reserve Bank of India is generally about um, uh, banks, monitoring banks, regulating banks, printing currencies and coins, and so on. But RB also does many things for us, actually. One of the important things that uh, they are uh, expected to do is that they have to educate us, educate us, all the children and elderly people about the how to use the financial services available in the country. Whether it is a banks or insurance company or anybody else, okay, these days um, uh, many transactions are happening in the digitally. Okay, and uh, many of your parents, they go to a grocery shop and particularly it happens in the small towns and big cities and um, you don't carry money in your packet. These days you go with a mobile phone, you pay with the different digital payment system like Google Pay, you pay like um, Paytm. Paytm and so on. So many digital payment systems are available in the market yeah. today and uh, it is essential that um, uh, people should know much about digital payments actually. So RBI thought about many things. They invited some experts and they came out with a, a comic strip, comic book. So the title of the comic books you can see in the title. This is the, uh, if you look at the screen and uh, you can see the Raji and Fatih Thieves. It's one of the popular book now and uh, it was uh, very recently it was released by the Reserve Bank of India. You know, Reserve Bank of India, many, there are many uh, internal offices in Reserve Bank of India. One of the offices of Reserve Bank of India is that banking ombudsman. Uh, this means that if anybody is having any grievances about a particular bank, and uh, they can write to the ombudsman. So the Reserve Bank of India headquarters is located in the Mumbai, but uh, the ombudsman, the branches of the ombudsman is available in every state. Okay, so if you are having any problems, any grievances over any bank, when you go to bank, if they are um, they are not providing the services, record services in appropriate manner, if they are delaying things actually, you can write to the uh, Reserve Bank of India ombudsman. Okay, so that com that particular office um, of um, office of the RBI Reserve Bank of uh, India ombudsman, Maharashtra and Goa, they have published this book actually. So today we are going to discuss about this book and why um, what is there in in this book. Okay, so this is what I chose this this title as today's presentation and like this there are many books many materials available as part of the for uh, educating understanding ourselves about the um, financial aspects. So uh, today we are going to discuss relatively much about this book. So would you like to inform our viewers what the 40 thieves in the book says? Huh. That's a very good question actually. So if you look at uh, this book and uh, this book has seen you know, today, like uh, as technology expands, as more and more people engaged in financial transaction, and digital transaction also is increasing, and uh, there are people uh, surrounding us, yeah. looking into and stealing us. Looking into the loopholes. To looking into the loopholes and then stealing from us. Yeah. That's it's a bitter truth, but it is also partly um, true all over the world. There are hundreds and thousands of ways through which people steal our hard-earned savings, hard-earned money, mm. okay? And uh, this book is about how the 40 kind of thieves, in what way they steal our money. That's what it's about, actually. So this, we would uh, like to know more about that. What are the, the different uh, ways? Yeah, this, what are the different ways? And the 40 thieves are all different characters. Different ways they steal our money, actually. They, they different ways, they just talk to us and they steal our money. Okay, this is what this uh, book is all about actually. So if you look at the uh, book and uh, the uh, front page, it, uh, it, it's giving you the title and then and then if you go, um, there are there is an index actually and then, um, then look at the first page actually. So this book has uh, very, see, uh, when you see the stories, any comic story, it may have uh, some five pages, 10 pages, 20 pages and so on. But this is a story of uh, two page stories only. So you'll be very much interested that um, you don't have to read for 10, 20 pages to understand the crux of the story. 40 um, robbers, literally we can say robbers or thieves, 40 robbers in different ways they steal, how they steal, 
how Raju, uh, a poor uh, guy, eh? um, because of his innocence, how he loses hundreds and thousands of rupees. Um, that's the uh, crux of this book, actually. So every page you will find, uh, for example, the title shows prod through pissing links, actually. So this is one story. And then in every story, um, there is a small, uh, if you look at in the um, uh, bottom, uh, dose, dose, what you need to do. Okay, this book is available in the internet uh, uh, and um, you can also ask uh, your school and your teacher, social science teacher to download this book because it's very much available. In fact, uh, all those who are having a bank account, you have received a mail from your bank to, uh, with the, this attachment. Okay, so uh, you can download and this is about some, um, uh, not more than for like 60 pages. So uh, it's uh, worth uh, kept in your collection because anytime we have to be, whenever we work with the mobile phone, we have to be very uh, cautious about it. So, so you'll find a story uh, of two pages uh, and first page and second page. And, and in each page, the first page is do's. That means what you are supposed to do. Something, um, something unexpectedly happened in your financial transaction, what you should do. And then uh, don'ts, what you should not do. Okay, this is the precautionary measure. So in all these 40 Roberts stories, what you should not do and what you can do, it's available in each episode actually. Okay, uh, so uh, you'll find all these 40 stories are very, very different uh, episodes. And today um, I'm going to discuss about uh, different ways actually. So uh, this is what these stories of 40 Roberts, 40 thieves, Basically, they don't come to your house. Traditionally, if you look at robbers and all, they come with the like the um, cloths, uh, like the masks we are all wearing now. But uh, they have evolved today, the modern. They things. they uh, they don't wear masks actually. They don't even come to your house. Yeah. They simply uh, just sit in their own computer. They keep a phone in their hand. They may be sitting anywhere in the country. They may be sitting anywhere in the country, and then they may be like simply call you, and then they can easily see your money going to their bank account. Your money going from your account to their bank account within a few seconds. So you have to be very much, you or your family, who is going to use this um, uh, mobile phones and so on, and you have to be very, very cautious. Uh, that's what this story is about. All these 40 stories about 40 ways through which you will be, um, um, uh, your money will go off from your bank account, or even from your packet also. Yeah. So this is what uh, is, uh, the, the book is about, actually. If you look at uh, the, um, how, you may be asking the question is that like, um, what are the different ways? Who are all the people may be affected by this new technology? So, um, and this is something called digital payment system. Look at the screen actually. So if you look at the screen actually, um, I am showing you some, um, if you are having a mobile phone, then damn sure that you have to be very careful. Mm. And if you are having a computer or a tablet, with internet facilities, you have to be very careful. You will be like you will be prone to this risk. And if you are having, if you are going to ATM counters, I'm sure many of you must be uh, many of your parents. Uh, you may be going to ATM counter uh, to de withdraw money and sometimes deposit money also. And you are also will be prone to this risk. Okay, the financial risk. And then if you are uh, having a phone, you may be having a landline phone or you may be having a mobile phone. Then also you'll be. And if you are having a charger or if you are using somebody's charger, whether it is a computer charger or mobile phone charger, I am sure there is a risk involved in it actually. If you are having a debit card, ATM card, and then utility of that, again, there is a risk. And if you are having a credit card, then again, you, have a, um, you are prone to the risk of losing your money. And then if you are using any public Wi-Fi system, then there is a possibility that you like, um, you will be like, uh, uh, you'll, uh, like, your money will be stolen actually. So these are the, different electric, electronic materials. If you are using any of these eight, nine uh, electronic materials, I am sure that um, uh, you have to be very cautious. That's what like this book is uh, talking about. So sir, uh, when a person gets to know, like we, we are just left by the last four to five minutes in the conversation, so I have this curious question. So when a person gets to know, just in the beginning, we, get, uh, we get, feel a kind of intuition that I am at the verge of being frauded or rob. So what is the first thing that should be done by a person, especially when it comes from the mobile phone, maybe a call, uh, maybe someone asking us our personal details. So what are all the details that uh, our fraudsters need to know 
in order to fraud another person. Yeah. So the, the, uh, if you look at uh, the first thing you need to know is that first thing you should uh, inform the bank immediately. Your home branch will be there and please inform your branch that this has happened. The second thing you have to re uh, report to the, uh, for example, look at the website. There is a website the Government of India um, has started, uh, National Cyber Crime Reporting Portal. So you have to report immediately to the um, this website portal actually. The first, you have to tell, make a telephone call to your bank or the SBA card number and uh, block your uh, account or block your card. The second thing is that you have to report to the National Crime, uh, like a Cyber Crime Reporting Portal. Okay, so uh, there are, uh, like if you look at the book, and uh, there are three ways, at least my reading of this book, um, I found it, there are about 10, 11 ways people are being robbed their uh, money actually. What are those ways actually? Let me look at the employment. So if you look at the, uh, many times, uh, COVID has resulted in many um, hundreds and thousands of people all over the world losing their jobs. And people are looking for a job actually. And in these days also, the work from home is also becoming very uh, common um, mm. uh, thing happening. Recently, Government of India has also come out with a new law rules and regulations on uh, work from home actually. So look, people are looking for a job actually. So if somebody is looking for a job and um, it happens that like this, uh, this is a story here. If you look at this um, uh, page, uh, like uh, story number 13, uh, online job fraud. So this is a stupid story in which uh, uh, somebody uh, losing a job and suddenly he looks at the website and then they say that like, um, Okay, we are, there is a job offer for you and you, um, um, they interview for some 10-20 minutes and then after 10-20 minutes they say, okay, we are giving you this job and uh, uh, we are going to send you a laptop and also uh, a mobile phone and uh, for that we, uh, you have to deposit uh, security amount yeah. of some 5,000 rupees or 10,000 rupees. So suddenly Raju um, uh, transfers the money uh, to the concerned um, uh, uh, employment uh, company and then waiting for 10, 20 days, nothing has come. Mobile phone also did not come and computer also did not come. In fact, um, so this is one way that when you are uh, seeing the advertisement and like you want to work from home, you want to get 10,000 rupees per day or 3,000 rupees per day and you have to be very careful in uh, talking to the people or uh, go to the website of that company which is promising you a job actually. So it is possible that if you are asking, if they are asking you for any amount you have to be careful. Secondly, uh, even if they are um, um, offering you a job and if you start working with them actually, what they will do, uh, if you say that I have my own computer and then I, they will give you some assignments and within a few days, so they will see that um, and because uh, many employment companies and particularly fraudulent employment companies, what they keep is that they have a digital application forms. So they will ask you to fill up all those forms and there are many terms and conditions also they lay. And you simply uh, agree to those terms and conditions. So what they do, they accept it. Like if you digitally sign also, take up, uh, take all your signatures and so on. And if you uh, start working with them actually, within a one month or 10, 15 days, they will tell you that, okay, uh, we are paying you. So they will also pay you 3,000, 5,000, yeah. 7,000 like that. But after some time, what they will do, that uh, you made, a, uh, they will start making mistakes. They will find a lot of mistakes in your work. And uh, uh, within 15 days, they will say that you made a lot of mistakes in our legal documents, so you have to pay penalty of 1 lakh rupees. And if you refuse to pay, they will say that, see, you have already signed your terms and conditions, so unless you pay, we will go to court. So frightened um, by and hear the, how Raju will be losing 1 lakh rupees. He has to pay, otherwise he will, uh, uh, you'll, uh, you will be forced to come to court mm. actually. So employment is one way uh, through which the, this, uh, the fraud is happening. And second is that gifts. Gifts are very, very common actually. For example, like um, uh, people say that like, I like, here is also a story about uh, gifts. So what kind of gifts are coming? Suddenly, for example, I'll tell you the, um, many of you are very young people, maybe you may be playing games actually. Uh, once uh, uh, my son asked me that, uh, uh, Papa, you give us some 200 rupees, I'm going to play this game. And if I give uh, 200, deposit 200 rupees, uh, the online gaming is going to gift me with 1000 rupees. And so I can have a 1200 rupees credit 
I can play the game. So here uh, on uh, 18, page number 18, there is a story, betting scam. Uh, yeah. Sir, I do think that our viewers could read the story all by themselves because due to paucity of time, we can continue the session right now. Okay. So what we can do that, like, see, there are uh, different ways one can think about uh, how uh, people are losing their jobs. Actually, the employment is one set. The second is that gifts. And yeah. uh, many times gifts are also like they will give you attractive gifts and they will promise you. And then uh, they will tell you that uh, 10,000 rupees um, uh, you pay or 5,000 rupees you pay and you transfer the payment and finally you will not get anything as gift actually. The third way is the loans. And they will promise you, uh, there are a lot of stories in this book also tell you that uh, they will promise you to give loans. Many times what happened, they will ask you all of details, personal details and they will also send you a person actually. And they will ask you to put your signatures and um, so you have to be very careful and after getting the signatures, they go back and there is no information from of them. Of course, sir. sir. Kindly excuse me for intervening, but uh, sir, we are not left by any time in the conversation. Okay. We'll have to wrap it here itself. Okay. So what we can do that this is the loans and there are uh, shopping including uh, discounts and offers. That's another way to see it. And then also customer care. Whenever uh, somebody calls you over phone, please be careful about um, who is calling and uh, they will start uh, recording your voices. In no way you should uh, spend more time on this kind of advertisement phone calls actually. And then health emergency. You also receive a message that your friend is sick and please send 10,000 rupees immediately. And that is one way to uh, health emergency also another call and to, don't unless you talk to people and uh, then only you have to send money. Actually. Yes sir, I am so sure that our viewers can take yeah. a note of so that. So what we can do that I will encourage strongly that uh, uh, please go through this book and then this will be a beginning uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, step to understand about financial education. So I'm going to introduce you to some more books in the next session. Of course, of course. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir, for being a part of this conversation and making our viewers quite knowledgeable about this important concept that talks about financial education. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you to all the viewers who have connected with NCRE for this particular conversation and stay connected with us. We'll write back with our another session. Till then, stay connected and keep watching PME with their channels. Namaskar.